everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, not quite a sparkling day in Central Oregon. Kind of smoky today. Whew. Goodness gracious. So guys, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Here we like to talk about homesteading, prepping, uh, gardening, hydroponics, and uh, news that affects us as a self-reliant person. And uh, the very first thing is I've got to make sure and take care of breakfast. So, uh, yum. Got to get my tomato in the morning. And, oh my gosh, so good. However, I already had breakfast because Sherry's home for uh, the three days. So uh, we made a nice... Uh, really good bacon uh, that we get uh, of course some of our eggs and toast and uh enjoyed the morning but it is time to go out and check uh the hydroponics the greenhouse the growing towers i like to check the growing towers because then i can get a strawberry but yeah uh the normal routines of a homestead and uh of course other people have pets and animals now we have chickens so I, uh, I don't show the chickens that often but I always check their water check their food um, we get their eggs every day and uh, it's just kind of part of our lifestyle so I kind of forget to film that so anyway today is our Saturday and uh, yes uh, we may be one or two videos ahead uh, because uh, Sometimes it allows me, when I get them built up a little bit, to be able to take a day off. Well, everything in the greenhouse is looking really good. Uh, once again, tomato production has slowed down. There's still lots of tomatoes. Um, we may be getting one or two a day. Plus, we're getting some outside. So it's definitely slowed down. But uh, I actually think it might pick up here after these plants start going nuts up at the upper half. Since If you went back in the old videos, you'll see I really changed the lower half of these uh, plants so they're probably adapting a little bit so this weekend uh, obviously we got to mow our lawns and sherry will be doing that and it's time to start seeing if we actually got potatoes in these things actually some have come to the surface so there's definitely tomato potatoes in there so we're looking forward i've got yukons and i've got reds growing in here so it'll be interesting to see if I, we get a decent harvest and we'll bring you along. And the other thing is that I've turned on the water. Today I'm not doing nutrients. Today I'm just making sure they get a good soaking. And uh, I don't want to overdo it with the nutrients. And the other thing is over here, we took the tractor and put some bark over here for one of these islands. So we're going to try to spread that this weekend. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of little, little chores to do this weekend. And... Uh, uh, I'm sure there'll be more in between that. Well guys, over at the Strawberry Towers, oh my gosh. There's some beautiful, beautiful strawberries here. Look at this. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Tons of, tons of strawberries. It's strawberry heaven. So, uh, uh, by the way, I've got to watch her, Cinder get out of there she's learned how to pick uh, strawberries for the ones she can reach uh, she's like a ninja all right guys I'm in the uh, what we call the green room uh, the propagator here is uh, loaded up with a lot of uh, new starters it's mostly uh, romaine lettuce and butter crunch and a little bit of bok choy still left that's a bok choy right there anyway uh, a lot of things we got moved out to the floating rafts We'll go out there and take a look and uh, see what we got cooking out there. Once again, it's uh, incredibly smoky today, so not that pleasant. And Sherry's uh, mowing the lawns, and uh, hopefully she takes a lot of breaks because it really is quite smoky today. Anyway, let's take a look in the greenhouse and see what we've done. All right, guys, so I'm back in the greenhouse. Uh, we got a few more bok choys uh, planted. And over here, I actually had quite a bit of, I would have kept these on the propagator, 
we'll have to see how they go but i did put some uh romaine lettuce in here i usually would put them in the propagator but i had too many so i'm, I'm going straight from a seedling straight to the floating rafts and see if they take if not you can see i had plenty on the propagator it was worth a try see what happens and we worked our way to the front of the property and sherry's uh mowing the lawn today thought i'd also take a look at the sunflowers see if they're still holding up or not and uh yeah they're still there There they are. This one's looking kind of sad. Uh, that one's still there. Huh. So yeah, they're there. I'm just glad we were successful at growing a couple. Just because we wanted to. And let's uh, take a look at... Uh, here's a pretty one. So yeah, the old sunflowers are doing all right. And uh, they're a pretty strong plant. And Sherry's over there making a lot of dust. But uh, hello. So yeah, it's dusty, smoky, warm today. And uh, probably isn't the funnest job mowing a lawn today. But that's her thing. Well, we just got done feeding the fish. Let's see if we can catch them. Uh, hard to get them on tape, but let's see what we got here. Yeah, our fish are a little bit timid. But uh, they do come out when the food's there. So like I said, we try to give them a good helping of food every uh, two days. And uh, that'll slow down when the winter comes and they get kind of dormant. So, uh, but yeah, they live just fine during the winter. When it freezes over, they live under the ice. They go really dormant. And we still try to sneak a little food in there. But uh, yeah, they're pretty hardy fish. All right, finally, uh, Got this uh, beauty bark spread out. Still got to rake it nicely. And I had to get a tank filled over in the towers because I messed up the timer. And uh, I always run water into the dog's pool. Try to keep it fresh. And uh, yeah, what a hot day and smoky still. Sure he's still going at it, so uh, good for her. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad to get that all spread out. So, uh, yeah, let's go on. Well, guys, it's getting a little later in the day. It's time to feed the puppies. They uh, get a cup of uh, dry food and a can of wet food mixed together. I uh, used to get the 22 ounce cans, but uh, there's only like two flavors available that way. So I went to the 13 ounce, and then we decided to start blending it with their dry food. So this is their four o'clock dinner. This is where they get their biggest dinner, but they do get a, another cup of food before they go to bed. But uh, that's it. <laughs> and strawberries and, and green beans during the day. So they're ready to eat. And uh, we're getting kind of slowing down. Sherry just finished all the, uh, the lawns and now she's working on a puzzle. And uh, time to start chilling out and thinking about what we're gonna do for dinner. I did make a great big salad out of two heads of lettuce in the uh, floating wraps. So I feel good I get that done. And uh, that's it. So guys, thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And I better get this video over with because I have two very impatient dogs. So guys, have a great day. Please leave comments below. Be safe. Until next time, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.